Hello everyone and welcome back to Plain Talk. I'm your host, AJ Rivera, and today I'm joined by Eli Lefford. Eli, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? Well, I'm doing pretty good myself. We are very happy to have you on this show. Uh, so Eli, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, yeah, so I'm Eli Ledford, like you said. I'm from, I'm originally from North Georgia, a small town called Dahlonega, about an hour north of Atlanta. Uh, I'm a junior here at Auburn studying finance, and I've been involved with a big event for about three years now, ever since I was a freshman, so it's going so pretty good. You're involved with the big event, which is you know, going to be the focus of this plane talk. Can you tell us a little bit about what the big event is? Yes, the big event is a one-day student-led volunteer organization we're the, largest student, we're the largest student organization on campus, and every day is, or every year is only a one-day event, and it's in the spring, and what we do is we send out around 1,000 student volunteers out into the Auburn and Opelika community to assist local residents with homework, no, not homework, sorry, yard work and home improvement tasks, and it's our, pretty much our way of saying thank you to the community for making Auburn such a great place to live, and the big event is actually coming up. It is on March 27, 2021, so we're really looking forward to it. What are the, some of the challenges that went into uh, planning the big event for this year compared to past years? Well, some of the challenges include pretty much everything being COVID friendly. We work with a lot right. of the residents that we work with. Most of a lot of them are uh, elderly. So making sure we're keeping them safe and keeping us safe and also uh, the, limiting the number of volunteers we have at job sites and things like that, making sure everything's clean, all the tools we use are probably disinfected and things like that and pretty much just making sure that the homeowners that we do work with are comfortable um, so coming in, like, into their yard and things like that, pretty much just being around us. So that's been one of the main um, uh, problems that we've had this year. But overall, it's, it's, we've adapted really well and we're really looking forward to the big event coming up and everything's gone pretty smoothly and the community's been great working with us. So we're really looking forward to it. Well, that's awesome that you guys have still are able to put on such an impactful event despite some of the COVID restrictions. Um, where can students go to register to attend this event and help out? Uh, yeah, our volunteer registration is open. They can uh, sign up at bigevent.auburn.edu. It's just a website and it's a few simple questions. You uh, click volunteer and then you can either sign up individually or as a group. Uh, you can have a private group where you invite your friends or you can join a group that's already made. And due to COVID, we have to limit our groups to 10, uh, 10 people per group. So feel free to make as many teams as you need for all your friends. So really easy sign up process takes about less than I say three minutes so you should definitely sign up. And where can students who may not be able to attend the event this year go where can they find your social media essentially? Oh, our Instagram is big, uh, at Auburn Big Event and we also have our AU Involved page uh, this big event on AU Involved so search that and get involved we have actually our uh, exec applications are already open now so those are on our AU Involved page and you can read all about those so Definitely a lot of ways to get in contact with us. And we're also on the concourse uh, pretty often throughout the school year. So you can talk to us there too. So you talk about your exec uh, applications are, are, are open now and you serve as the uh, vice president of publicity, correct? Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. What, what specifically does, is your role in the organization? So as the VP publicity, pretty much what I do is everything that students and the community sees is I'm pretty much behind it. I do our Instagram posts, I schedule a concourse for us, I like, do chapter visits and things like that. So pretty much all things publicity I do. I oversee uh, our director of Greek Life Relations, our director of marketing, and also our director of student organizations. I just make sure that they're doing a good job reaching out to all the different organizations Auburn has and making sure that our name's getting out there and pretty much being publicized. So that's pretty much my overall role is just marketing stuff and making sure that everything's ready to go and we have good graphics and pretty much everything in that vicinity. So what I do. Can you tell us a little bit more about other executive positions and when the applications for those are due? Yes, we have, um, there's VP publicity, we have president, and we have VP of operations. And VP of operations, pretty much what they do is the stuff with tools and making sure that the job sites are something we can actually do and like the equipment that they need, so all that kind of stuff. And then we have a VP of event management and they, this kind of coincides with VP of publicity because they do a lot of stuff with um, planning, like how the actual day is going to flow, like promotional items, things we're going to give volunteers and things like that. And then we have VP of homeowner relations and that is, they pretty much basically deal with all the homeowners in the community, like making sure that they want us to come work at their house, the stuff they want done. And also to, like, that's pretty much where a lot of the COVID stuff come in. They made sure that like they were comfortable with us and kind of like the precautions they would want followed. So that's who they deal with. Is there anything else that you would like to add and tell to the Auburn students? 
Um, pretty much sign up if you haven't. The big event has been one of the most rewarding experiences I've had at, as an Auburn student. It makes Auburn seem so much bigger. I know when I first got to Auburn, I thought of it mainly as just being the campus, you know, downtown area, and that was it. But going out into the community and helping the homeowners, you see just how, how like robust Auburn really is and all the different people that live here. And this makes it seem a lot like home. And it's also the homeowners are so grateful. This is a really rewarding experience overall. Well, Eli, I thank you for sitting down with me, but that is all the time that we have for Plain Talk today. Thank you. Uh, for everyone watching, make sure to register for the big event if you're interested, and check out our social media as well as there. Our website is found at eagleeyeauburn.com, and our social media is Eagle Eye TV. I'm AJ Rivera in War Eagle.